Hey guys, I have already done a video about oil pulling, but it wasn't very good, so we're gonna go over it again. Now, oil pulling is an Ayurvedic practice that I believe started in India, and all it involves is taking some kind of oil. The kind that I prefer is unrefined organic coconut oil. I got this from Doug and Stacy, which thank you, Doug and Stacy. It's like a lifetime supply, and I so appreciate it. I want it in their uh, drawing, their subscriber viewer drawing. Okay, so when you're taking out the coconut oil, you just take a clean spoon and get enough that you can get your camera to focus on it. It's about a teaspoon. And Okay, so that was obviously a very short amount of time. The best amount of time to do it is about 20 minutes. What it is alleged to do is to remove bacteria and viruses that cause tooth decay and gingivitis and stuff like that. That's what it's supposed to do is remove those things. Does it remove those things? I don't know. What I do know is that I had a broken tooth from a horse accident that um, I was able to use oil pulling to keep that from being sensitive. I didn't have to get any kind of crown put on that. And the tooth still functions just fine. I had enamel that was removed from my teeth from a very bad dentist who claimed that he was fixing my bite and instead was using the multiple visits just to get me to keep paying. And he promised that the tooth sensitivity would go away uh, within a very short amount of time after the procedures and they never did. Um, for about 10 years, I had intense sensitivity in my teeth. I tried the sensitive teeth toothpaste that are supposed to dull the pain, and they caused me to have boils break out, like on my neck and my face. And it was I knew it was the special toothpaste that I got from the dentist. And we've ha other, had other incidences in our lives where it really came across that drinking raw milk really works well for our family. Kaya, Paige actually grew back chunks of teeth that had been chipped when she had her baby teeth um, at the time that we we had been drinking. We, we When she chipped her teeth, we were not drinking the milk. And for three months after she chipped her teeth, she we weren't drinking the milk. Then we started drinking the milk, the raw milk, and at that point it was cow's milk. And first off, some very translucent teeth showed up. Like you could see through the new part of her tooth. It wasn't new teeth. It was just that her teeth were growing in and they were translucent at first and then they were opaque. And then there was a line that you could see and then there was no line that you could see. Literally, she grew back teeth, not just teeth enamel, teeth, chunks of teeth. And I had the same experience, not with them regrowing so much, but just that by drinking the organic raw milk, I was able to at least chew. And if I drank milk before all of my meals, I could I could stand to chew my food. Whereas before I started drinking the raw milk, that wasn't the case. Now, the oil pulling has actually fixed my teeth. Now, I've never had cavities, and neither of the kids. We have had checkups, and we just don't have cavities. Um, I believe that's because of the way that we eat. We don't eat refined sugar, and we don't eat refined foods, period. <coughs> and so... I think that has a lot to do with it. However, the tooth sensitivity, sensitivity and the broken teeth, I don't think that just basic nutrition would fix those. I do believe that it was the raw milk. And when I started with the oil pulling, my teeth were quite sensitive on a daily basis if I didn't drink the milk. When I started the oil pulling, within three days, my tooth sensitivity had gone down. And within a couple of weeks, I was able to eat fruit again, which I hadn't been able to eat fruit for 10 years. Um, I had just had to avoid sugar of any kind, even in fruit. And so after the oil pulling, I was able to eat fruit again. And if I've eaten too much fruit or if I have had some refined sugar, my teeth will start to get sensitive again and I will need to go back to oil pulling every day for a little while. But at this point, I only oil pull every two weeks. I should do it more often, but since I'm not in pain and my teeth feel fine, um, I don't feel as much motivation to do it. So you saw me do that. I do it generally when I'm jumping on my little rebounder trampoline or doing yoga or something because 
The amount of time it needs to be in my mouth is about the amount of time it takes to do those things. Really simple. There's books out there that talk about the oil pulling. It works for me and my family. That doesn't mean I'm giving you advice. It's just that I'm telling you what our story with it is and I hope you enjoyed this video. The only oil I do like to use is the unrefined organic coconut. If I, I've tried other oils and it makes me gag. So, and we, and we do still brush our teeth and we do still floss, all those good things, and we do still go to the dentist. We've just never found that we've had any problems and even broken teeth we have found that over time with good good diet and with the oil pulling and everything that we've had enamel, if not grow back at least, um, it seems like the oil protects our teeth even though like in my case that I don't have enamel on my bottom molars anymore. So there we go. We'll talk to you later.